This is a video about the uh, the Legion app. Um, this is the, the startup screen, and whenever you click on connect, you can see that the blue Bluetooth light goes solid there, and then it asks for the passcode that has been set up for this solar regulator. And so then you can uh, put that in, and uh, once you put it in, then it should pop this up. Um, so the solar regulator, the green means it is producing power. The solid blue means that the Bluetooth is connected. I'm not sure what the middle one means. It's actually blinking all the time. And the two that show up every now and then on this end here is when the solar regulator is actually talking to the inverters. So this is the Legion Solar app. Um, it's not real early right now. It's about four in the afternoon or whatever. So the two sets of panels that I've got are producing only 149 watts right now out of the 1600 total. Um, you can see that the house is using about 1.3 kilowatts right now and that's how much we're pulling off the grid. Um, today we've produced uh, almost uh, 1200 watt hours which is not a whole lot um, but that's what it's produced anyway. Um, gives the local conditions down here Whenever I click on production, uh, you can see that right now we're at 148 watts. Uh, today, though, we did get up to 511 out of the, the 600 theoretical max. And you can see here that uh, this is the hourly production in watts per hour. Um, this is uh, on uh, October 4th. Uh, you can actually scroll back through the various days. And uh, this is kind of whenever we were getting it going. And then uh, on 10-1, uh, that was the, the very first day that we had it. Um, you can also, so you can choose today or you can choose this entire month. And then it uh, gives you the, the daily generation. And you can also choose year, which is currently not terribly interesting for anything that I've got going on. Um, under the health panel, uh, you can see that... Uh, we have the inverters. This one's producing 82 watts. This one down here is producing 86 watts. Um, you can see the, the temperatures and various other useful uh, bits of information on that. Uh, under setup, uh, you can select the temperature units, uh, the cost per kilowatt. Um, it For some reason, it likes to go back to 0.25. Um, for where I'm at, that's actually what I seem to average. Um, then you can uh, set up uh, more inverters. Um, you can send commands to them uh, whenever you click on that. Uh, you can see that uh, you get that and so the inverters are currently turned on. Uh, if we go back to health and you can go to utility and if we go into utility, then you can choose to do various things, like we can test all inverters, and then pops up that information. Um, and you can do other things that may or may or may not be useful. Um, that's just a, a quick run through of the app. Uh, this is the, the solar regulator that they've got. Um, you can see that I just have the, that's the lines to the split core transformers. Um, and uh, got it plugged into a UPS um, so that it never loses power.